So now in this section, we're going to talk about bouncing to disk, which is uh, that's the Pro Tools language for uh, mixing, uh, mixing down your, your song and, and creating a, a stereo file that you can turn into uh, you know, an MP3 and, and uh, you know, put, on, put it on iTunes or whatever you want to do, put it on a CD. Um, so let's say you got your, you got your, you got your session rocking, you, you, you've done your mix, you've, uh, you've overdubbed everything, and you got it sounding how you want it to sound. Um, so what, what, what you want to do, this is just a good habit to get into, this isn't necessarily something you have to do, but what, what I like to do is I, I'll, I'll go down to here to the bottom left corner to my edit groups, and I'll select my all group here. Because what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up here and I'm going to triple click just in any, on any track. Now, since I had the all group selected, when I triple clicked, it selected all of the audio in the entire session. Uh, now, you may or may not want to select all your audio. Maybe you have some stuff at the beginning of the song that's no good or whatever. Um, but the, the, the point of this is uh, when, you, when you bounce this down, when you mix this, it's going, this is basically the start of where it's black here is going to be where the song starts and the end is where it ends. So if you, uh, you know, if you have, you know, only this much selected when you hit bounce to disc, that's all that's going to get bounced. So it's very important that you have the right selection. Um, and that's something uh, just to bear in mind when you're, when you're doing this. So this is good for us. Um, I've done a little fade out at the end of them. I mean, this is just a couple acoustics and a, and a drum track. Uh, but it's just to show you guys the, the process for bouncing down. And um, I'm satisfied with how it's sounding and, and everything. So, uh, so the, the process for this is you go up to File and Bounce to Disk. This will bring up this little Bounce dialog box here. It will give you a couple options. Uh, bounce Source, this is really important. Uh, it needs to be Analog 1 and 2. Um, sometimes this, for some reason, will get set on something else. If you have it set, for example, on bus one and two, or, or something different, you're, it's not, it's not going to be what you're listening to that uh, that gets uh, that gets mixed down. So, uh, most the, most of the time, for most systems, analog one and two uh, is a good is a good bounce source. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, your file type here, you can select SD2, WAV, AIFF, MP3, QuickTime, Sound Resource. Um, Again, uh, I, I would just suggest keeping it on on Wave. If you have uh, if you have the MP3 option for Pro Tools, you can export it, or you can bounce it uh, straight to an MP3. So let's say you're just uh, you're just mixing it down as a test mix, and you're going to send it to your friend, you know, through email or whatever. Um, that's that's fine. But we're just going to keep it on Wave. Format. There's three formats here: mono, uh, summed, which is basically summed means it's taking the left and the right and it's putting them right up the center, uh, just one, one channel. Uh, multiple mono will create two separate files. It'll, it'll create a file for the left and a file for the right. Or stereo interleaved. We want stereo interleaved because we want a, just a, a nice stereo uh, file of our session. Uh, then you got resolution here. We're going to keep it at 24 because uh, that's, the, that's the resolution of our session. We're just going to keep it at 24. Sample rate, 48. We're going to keep it at 48. Uh, if you want to put it on a CD, you're going to want it to be 16 and 44 1. And then uh, I would just suggest keeping it on convert after bounce, because that, uh, that reduces errors during the bounce process. Um, and when you're ready, just hit bounce. And it's going to ask you uh, where you want to save it. And the default place is just in your audio files folder inside your session. Uh, but let's say I just want to save it on my desktop. I'll just click my desktop here, and just you know, it's a good good thing to always name it uh, test mix. You know, whatever whatever you're naming or just the name of the song. Now, once you hit save, the song will start playing. I'll turn it down here so you can hear me. 
Um, as you can see, it's, it's bouncing now. I've just turned it down, but it's, uh, it's, it's bouncing, and it always bounces in real time in Pro Tools. And uh, you won't be able to do anything while it's bouncing, so just uh, you know, have fun listening to it. But that's a good... Uh, the, the reason they do that is in case you have any outboard effects that you're using, obviously those have to be bounced in real time. And, uh, and once it's finished, it's going to convert it. And if we go, if I, if I hide Pro Tools here, we can see on my desktop that here it is, test mix. And I've just created that. And I can open that up in, uh, you know, if, I, if I've bounced that at 16.44.1, uh, which I haven't, but if I had, I can open it up in iTunes and create an MP3 out of that. And you can listen to it and, you know, uh, burn it on a CD and listen in, listen in your car or, or whatever. But that's, that gives you a, 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 a quick uh, overview of, uh, of bouncing to disk. So that should get you going. <laughs>